he... I declare the accused a sex offender pursuant to statute. It was obviously a credible threat to kill in that had it been charged separately, could have carried in itself 10 years imprisonment. She saw the accused man with his trousers open, an erect penis, and was forced to have oral sex. An opportunity to reconstruct his life, particularly as he has no previous criminal convictions. So balancing the factors as best I can, on the rape counts, I sentence him to six years imprisonment. In. You're looking after yourself. Have you seen Alison lately? No. Look, Ian, we're getting the group back together for a retrospective. Luca, Jason, even Connor are all showing I'm afraid you're confused. It's not what it looked like to me. Look, what happened shouldn't stop you from getting back into this. The name's Doyle. Sergeant Doyle. Good, Finton. It just got good. See, there's a reward for any information leading to the capture of the Phantom Burglar. Phantom Burglar? Yep. A couple of houses in the area have been hit. This is my chance to get some respect in this village. And I won't rest until I find them. I'm just not taken seriously enough around here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a can of booze you have there? What are you going to do about it? When I was your age, I was working hard in school. You don't think I achieved this position without hard work and dedication? Yes, sir. The streets would be a dangerous place without me patrolling. Go back to the cop shop, Wiggy! Oi, 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 oi. Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> James Ryan. James Ryan. What are you doing on the Gort Road? I was out looking for horses. What's that in your head? A balaclava. Must be hat. No, that'll keep me head warm. You got anything in the pockets there now? One there, emptying them out for me. Anything else there? One other thing. He also found a small black-handled knife. It's very sharp, isn't it? Garda Fahey had enough material to arrest James Ryan and take him to Ennis Garda Station on suspicion of events in the Gort area of County Galway. I'd be worried about now, as long as you... Your name? James. No, I don't think that's right. We know that you're William Campion from Limerick. And not to me, the floor as well. We took up that carpet because, you know, this isn't a high traffic room. So we just totally played up. You wanted to clean it up. This was actually Gran's room. What's that there? Margaret's mother. Gran. She died in January. Uh, we haven't touched it since. You weren't really supposed to be in here. Yeah. Uh, um. I need a board. Go ahead. You're going to have to move back to finish date. What? We need more time. The finish date is April the 1st. We're not going to make it. Well, you better get the finger out then. Me and the lads are working flat out. Come on, Marty. We were down a man for two weeks. Look, if this job isn't finished on time, I start paying penalties. So give us overtime. What if I cut out tea breaks instead? You can't do that. Yeah, and you can't put a gun to my head, so get on with it. Knocking off, boy. Just want to clear that up first. Sorry, boss. That had run into overtime. Don't lose the attitude. I don't have an attitude. Yeah, right. 
I'm worried about it. You want me to say, you say it to me. What? Don't go with me head to Marty. Who's got the attitude now? I'm just trying to get this job done, to be fair to the lads. And you, from day one, have been messing it up for me. Damien, I'd more to be doing with me time. Yeah, by like getting the job done and not melting off. I, we have legitimate complaints. Which I've listened to. And come up with a Mickey Mouse solution that rips us off and makes more money for your outfit. Oh, I mean, you listen to no, me. No, you listen. It's real simple, Damien. You want the job done, you organise overtime. You don't. Come on, lads. Excuse me. I thought we were here to discuss the evil scheme. Yes, it's so evil I can almost taste the evilness. <laughs> it's not really evil. It's more so commercially viable than anything else. Yes, but isn't money the root of all evil? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on then, what is this great scheme? Let me show you. 